is going on everyone? Thank you so much for coming back. I'm Keegan Riley. You are watching The Real Keegs and today I have a really cool video for you. I'm going to do a review of the coolest two-door red car that we have on the lot. Let's check it out. Uh, I, uh, I think there was a mistake. There we go. That's a lot better. 2004 Nissan 350Z convertible red six speed. Let's get it started. Roll that intro. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really, really excited that you're here today. Uh, if you're brand new to the channel, thank you so much for uh, your first view. If you're a returning subscriber, you are of course an absolute legend. So uh, let's dive right in. So, of course, where to begin? Um, this is probably one of the most <laughs> influential cars of the last probably two decades. Uh, this was in The Fast and Furious. This was in so many other big, big movie scenes and stuff like that. This has been used all over the drift scene for years as well. So, this is one of the cars that not only is one of the best looking things out there, but it's also incredibly capable. And we'll get into that. So. As we discussed in the last video, I have kind of a sweet spot in my heart for convertibles. So um, let's get this look in its best. So as this happened, check this out. I think the universe knew I was pulling the top off. Because uh, the sun's starting to peek through a little bit there. Pretty cool. Anyways, look at this freaking thing with the top down oh it looks like the perfect old school like british roadster something like that oh they did such a good job with the top down now i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking keegan keegan when are we gonna get to see inside well that is just about to happen so check this out the interior on this car is one of the coolest because that door handle is really neat, but your seats in here are so heavily contoured to basically be racing seats. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, your steering column here, I love this. Look how it can move up and down, but the entire gauge cluster moves with it as an assembly. That's so cool, really ingenious. Um, of course, you've got your heated seats in there, <laughs> which was a pretty big deal 15 years ago. Uh, other than that, I mean, just look at when you come and enter this thing right here. It's actually got everything that you would really want as well, um, from cruise control to your, uh, your radio and your AC. And even check this out, the glove box isn't a glove box, it's a cup holder. Pretty cool. I was actually kidding, the glove box does exist, um, actually. Nope, 12 volt power outlet, uh, no glove box. Okay, so I actually had to take a second and look around, um, and I actually can't find a glove box on the car, um, but there is like lots of storage cubbies, so check this out. So, there's a storage cubby in here with some extra cup holders. There's a little power outlet right there. And then look at this. It's your behind the seat glove box thing. Uh, I guess you had to put it somewhere. So it went here. I think another really important part with the convertible car is uh, how much trunk space you've got, especially with the top down. Check that out. Could actually probably get um, a, a couple bodies in there. Might have to chop them up a bit, but you could definitely fit them in there. I think. Maybe one, maybe two. Let me know how many bodies you guys can fit in your 350Z. Now, no sports car is complete without its beating heart. And that's what we're gonna go over here in a second. So, this right here is a VQ35DE, which is a 3.5 liter V6. Uh, there's a little bit of an Easter egg to this motor uh, that you'll find out on the channel if I ever hit my first uh, <laughs> subscriber goal, but that's another story for another day. 
Anyways, this motor right here, you've got dual overhead cams, 3.5 liters. It was rated at about 287 horsepower when it was brand spanking new. But of course that was nearly 16 years ago. So you'd expect a little bit to be lost over that time. But either way, still a nice, strong, beautiful heart. That means that it's about time for us to take this little beauty for a drive. I'm actually gonna put the top up so that you guys can get a little bit of better audio while I'm driving around. I still don't have a proper mount, so I expect the camera to fall a few times. Um, probably be actually funny for you guys, so that might end up being a good thing. Uh, either way, I'm gonna put the top back up so that you guys can get a little bit of greater audio content, and uh, we'll see you inside. All right, so there's the top back on. What do you say we uh, fire the motor up and let you guys hear the exhaust? So I don't know if you can tell, but I've turned into a little bit of a giddy schoolgirl with this car. Um, <laughs> let's see how that translates to the drive. I guess let's get it started. That's gotta be pretty good right there, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you gotta press down and over far right to get into reverse. And away we go. So there's very few cars that have ever shown up on the lot that has made me as excited as this car. Um, bit of a Z car fanboy. I also love uh, 240SXs and stuff like that. So if you have any cool little rear wheel drive drift cars, I would love to see them. Now clutch engagement in this car is really weird. Like it's, it's not as grabby as I was. Fi I would figure a sports car would be. Now it's not terrible. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, there's some great power in this car, and it's really down low too. With a with a naturally aspirated engine like this, I'm surprised at how well uh, that accelerates there. Um, the, the clutch actually, you, you start to get used to it a little bit. It's uh, it's definitely not exactly what I'm used to, um, but it works. Now I'm curious to see how well this car handles. Um, thankfully I am actually going to be going to uh, some corners up here. Man, I really hope that I'm in frame. Alright, our first stoplight. So far, super, super smooth. No real, like, big issues or anything like that. Actually, the visibility, especially for a convertible, is quite good as well. Uh, fix my mirror there, but I'm not gonna dive into the sound system. It does have a Bose sound system, so it's it's quite good, but um, I, uh, I don't think it adds too much for the purposes of this video. Woo! <laughs> it can put the power down. It can do it. It can do it real easy. And it sounds great doing it. God, I love this car already. <laughs> if you're one of those people that really likes your, uh, your, your classic Roadster light, you know, um, add lightness as opposed to adding power, this right here, this is beautiful for that. It feels as nimble and I want to say as quick to accelerate as a Miata but oh man does it feel so much better than that oh god this is so much better than a Miata holy crap 
that's another car that I've been able to drive on several occasions through my job, and I know I'm gonna get some flack for this, but I don't understand where people come from. <laughs> that'll make your <laughs> pound. Oh. oh, this is just beautiful. Oh my god, I love it. I absolutely love it. And even when you get back to like the city driving, just, just sort of coasting along, even this is fine. It's not as fun as going fast, mind you, but it's still fun. I'm enjoying the hell out of this right now, actually. The only thing that would make this better is if I could have the top down, but uh, you guys come first. I really hope you can hear the motor too, because oh, it's making some great noises. And now we're hitting some traffic. So I'll probably shut up for a little bit because I can't imagine this is gonna be very entertaining. Watch me just like put random bits of me talking for like no reason. So that's the magic of editing. Talk like an absolute moron right now, and in post, I can make myself sound even dumber, which is beautiful. Gotta love that movie matter. I'm really happy that uh, Sean Michael McHattie uh, convinced me to take cars for drives because this is way more fun than uh, than just walking around the car. <laughs> I wonder if any of this can actually be translated uh, through uh, through the video. It hasn't fallen yet, which I'm very surprised about. Maybe we will try the sound system. Aftermarket sound systems that don't make any sense. I guess we're not listening to the radio. It sounds so good! <laughs> it sounds so good! Oh, man. You can go the speed limit, sir. You can go the speed limit, sir! Oh, my God. Let's get this car through some freaking corners, everyone! You can, you can really tell that there was so much time and effort put into the design and development of this car because it's so well sorted and this is this is 16 years old now that's crazy we are at the entrance of the corners but we're in a big line of other cars so i'm gonna chill out for a second let everyone get a bit of a gap on me. Oh, it handles! Oh, it handles! <laughs> it's so tight. You've got a car that handles, and it has power, and it looks really good, and it has lots and lots of features. So, all in all, a pretty incredible car. I really, I mean, the only thing that I have to say about it is I wasn't a huge fan of the clutch, but that's just a clutch job or maybe changing something around. Who knows? Not really going to look too much into it because it's time to give this a score. I don't have a rating system, but I figured this is a great burnout car, so let's give it a score out of five burnouts. I'm going to give it 4.5 out of five burnouts. And it's just because of the clutch. That's it. The only problem with it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.